Hello, welcome to my next uh, video. I'm glad you could join me in my studio today. Um, today I've decided to uh, sketch from a photograph taken uh, while we were in um, Georgia last week at the Foxfire Museum. If, if anybody um, doesn't know what the Foxfire Museum is, it's um, a museum created by a bunch of school, high school kids after they had uh, developed a, a magazine uh, in their school about uh, country, uh, country ways in the Appalachians and uh, it's a fascinating um, story, a fascinating uh, magazine and, which was made into a series of books about uh, all different aspects of country life and uh, I've always wanted to go to the museum and uh, it was great. So I did some sketching on site there um, and took photographs at the same time um, and I come to realize how how different it is drawing from life and drawing in the studio under controlled conditions. Even when the, the weather was lovely and uh, it was um, quiet to start with. So this is one of the log buildings that the uh, high school students uh, back in the, uh, I think, 70s. Moved from locations around uh, South Carolina and Georgia and uh, reconstructed here uh, at the museum. I have this sped up um, two times as usual, uh, just to make the video a, a better length. But uh, it, it was a fairly, uh, fairly fast sketch, uh, maybe half an hour total, total um, drawing and painting. And as, uh, as before, I, I come in straight with the, uh, the fountain pen and I don't uh, pre-draw with uh, pencil. And uh, as I've said before, this is um, always uh, a practice when I draw in the studio. It's practice for learning how to draw on site on location, which is always harder, so I, uh, I definitely need more practice doing it. My drawings do, do come out okay. I mean, they're um, acceptable, uh, but um, still not. Some of, some of them are better than others. I wanted to get uh, a lot of the trees in a sketch because the uh, the area around uh, northern uh, uh, part of uh, South Carolina and into Georgia into the mountains they get um, a terrific amount of rainfall so the woods uh, the forests are just so lush and full with so many interesting, beautiful trees that I wanted to make sure I got uh, the trees in this sketch. Actually, when I was down in uh, South Carolina, we were down there for a um, week, I guess, week and, a week, week and a bit. Uh, I did sketch uh, just trees sometimes. 
one of my favorite subjects. Now here I'm simplifying the background again, as, uh, as in my other videos and sketches. Ever since seeing this uh, uh, on another uh, artist's uh, YouTube channel, uh, I really like this uh, simple method of doing a, a dense forest in the background. It really works well for me. With me, you can usually, uh, I can usually tell, uh, depending on mood and uh, <laughs> whatever, um, if it's going to be a good sketch or not. I felt really good about this pen sketch, and it was going quite well. But as I came into the painting, it didn't. Uh, it didn't seem to flow as well as I as I'd like. So you you see at the end that uh, I I do make some adjustments. I try to get um, detail in without overdoing the detail. Sometimes um, it's hard to. Uh, pick and choose what you put in a painting or a sketch because there are so many things even in a photograph uh, even though it's uh, it's being cropped because you you took a photograph of the scene so you, it is less than if you were uh, sitting out there on location there are so many details that you have to decide like do you uh, Depending on the style too, there are many different styles of drawing. Um, you can um, put every single leaf in, every single blade of grass, and uh, in every tree, and it, it turns out really beautiful. But for sketching purposes, for my liking anyway, I like to uh, be able to um, decide what to put in the sketch and what to leave out. I noticed uh, after, I noticed a lot of these things when I'm making the video actually, things I should have done in the uh, drawings. The, uh, the two trees in the center, the one I'm just uh, shading now, um, they should have gone up beyond the, uh, the angled tree there. They kind of cut off. Um, so it seems like there's no uh, nothing above. And I did fade out the other trees, but uh, should have kept them up there or put them in. So this is an exercise also in uh, showing that uh, you are always learning. I'm always learning when I do these uh, sketches. Uh, sharing with you, hope, hoping that um, maybe you'd even give me some pointers, which would be great. But nothing is perfect, which is the same as nature, really. There's nothing perfect in nature, it's just uh, a lot of times it's very haphazard the way trees fall, the way things lean and you have to kind of use artistic license and uh, just your feel to um, to adjust things I brought some uh, brighter oranges and, and uh, 
burnt siennas into the foreground, helping to uh, give the painting a little bit more of a sparkle, a little bit more punch. As you can see from the photograph, though, it is a very uh, bland, kind of a, um, an overall dull um, photograph, uh, with the exception of the shadows. As you can see after, I, I kind of ac accentuated the shadows a bit too much to my liking. Um, Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But the cast shadows should have been a, a really nice uh, accent to this painting. You can see where I went up the uh, tree there and then just come to a dead end. One thing I did do when when I was on site uh, sketching, um, I didn't um, I didn't paint while I was on site. One reason is time. Um, time was going on. The museum closed at a certain time, so you're, it's always in the back of your mind to uh, keep moving and do as many sketches as you can. So what I did is. Um, do the pen and ink sketches on site and when I got back to the trailer uh, I put some paint to it and, it and that worked quite well I did the same thing while um, sketching uh, breakfast in the in the restaurant we ate at and uh, that's good you know uh, all you need is a small pad I'm using actually I'm using right now the pad I used um, on my trip to uh, to sketch it's a, just a four by six multimedia pad uh, easy to carry and all you need other than that is a, a drawing implement so I used a, the fountain pen, and you can sit uh, and uh, do a sketch quite, um, quite quietly without uh, attracting too much attention. But if you had to take your, uh, your paints and everything, which, you know, it's possible, I've done that as well, um, tends to attract a little bit more interest from people. a lot of times is nice as long as the painting's coming out good <laughs> you get you get some good feedback if you're making a mess well <laughs> maybe you don't want to share that that uh, cast shadow although it is fairly straight in reality coming down from that one tree I, I should have put maybe a little bit more of a curve to it or something to just make it a little bit more interesting. Here I'm uh, I'm putting the shadows in hoping that will kind of give the uh, give the sketch some punch. Then add in some green to the the trees. the orange caulking between the logs. The caulking is very orange in, in this area for these uh, traditionally uh, reconstructed uh, log buildings because uh, the soil is, uh, is very reddish up here. 
so that is uh, th that's how they would uh, have done it. Now then I decided to come back in with my fountain pen to give it some heavier thicker lines which is uh, which is quite easy to do with the uh, the fountain pens you just uh, give it a little bit more pressure when you're moving along and uh, more ink will flow and already uh, I can see see it's making a, a pleasant difference whereas before just with the just with the after I painted it the overall sketch looked very dull and uh, flat I guess the word would be and what you need uh, in a sketch to make it to make it alive and uh, look good is contrast so when I put the uh, thicker lines here and there, uh, that's exactly what it's doing. It's making the lines more vibrant, more exciting, more alive. As I've said before, I'm really enjoying using the fountain pen with the carbon black ink. This is a, a Pilot fountain pen I've had for years, uh, originally uh, for bought for, for writing. But once I started sketching with it, I, I can't stop. It's a, it's a really nice feeling pen. So that's, uh, that's the sketch for today and I hope you enjoyed it and uh, please leave comments, um, share this if you, if you think uh, others would like it and uh, see you again.